Among the 63 known moons of Saturn, Titan stands out as the largest, and it's colossal. With a diameter of 3,200 miles, it's even larger than Mercury and just a tad smaller than Mars. The best part is that you don't need a high-end telescope to observe Titan. It's within reach of amateur astronomers. Welcome to Science with Lou, your go-to channel for exploring the wonders of the universe. In today's video, we're going on an extraordinary journey to the enigmatic moon of Saturn, Titan. What sets Titan apart from the rest, you ask? Well, there's a lot to cover. From its intriguing atmosphere to the Earth-like landscapes, a unique ocean of warmth and the possibility of unimaginable life forms, Titan has piqued the curiosity of scientists for generations. Let's dive deep into the mysterious nature of this distant celestial body and uncover the secrets it holds. Until recently, Titan remained shrouded in mystery, with its discovery dating back to 1655, when astronomer Christian Huygens first spotted it orbiting Saturn. This moon had been overlooked before, often mistaken for a star. The intrigue deepened when the Pioneer 11 probe visited Titan and later the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft. However, the initial images left much to be desired. What did become apparent was the layered haze that veiled Titan's surface, primarily composed of hydrogen and nitrogen. The Cassini-Huygens mission was a significant milestone in space exploration. Launched in 1997, it was a joint endeavor of NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Italian Space Agency, Agenzia Spaziale Italiana, ASI. The mission's primary objective was to study Saturn and its complex system of rings and moons in unprecedented detail. Cassini, the orbiter, spent 13 years exploring Saturn, making 294 orbits around the planet. A particularly noteworthy component of the mission was the Huygens probe. Designed to explore Titan, Saturn's largest moon, the Huygens probe made history on January 14, 2005, by becoming the first human-made object to land on a world in the distant outer solar system. During its descent, it returned 376 images and valuable science data from the surface of Titan, providing invaluable insights into this unique celestial body. The descent to Titan's surface in 2004 turned out to be a nail-biting two-and-a-half-hour journey, unveiling the surprising extent of its atmosphere, which extends over 480 kilometers or 300 miles above the surface, setting a record height in the solar system. Titan's atmosphere is a complex interplay of different layers with varying compositions and temperatures. At the surface, temperatures plummet to a frigid negative 178 degrees Celsius, or negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. But at around 320 kilometers, or 200 miles up, they warm to a comparatively balmy negative 90 degrees Celsius, or negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest atmospheric layers, at approximately 400 kilometers, or 250 miles, give rise to an orange haze, which persists down to 96 kilometers or 60 miles, gradually clearing as we approach the surface. Titan's surface, while textured, remains relatively flat, with the highest points reaching only about 0.95 kilometers or 0.6 miles above the plains. The mysterious orange haze consistently obscures the sunlight, creating a perpetually dim environment. This unique moon of Saturn is the only celestial body in our solar system, other than Earth, to have stable liquids on its surface. Methane rivers and lakes are a key feature, contributing to the formation of clouds and precipitation in Titan's atmosphere, similar to Earth's water cycle. An enigmatic image captured upon Huygens's landing revealed a dry riverbed, sprinkled with smooth ice rocks that resembled pebbles, remnants of a time when methane rivers once flowed. These dried-up riverbeds sparked theories about the cyclical climate changes on Titan, 
where rivers fill with methane rain and then dry up again. The first theory suggests that these methane rivers undergo a cyclical pattern with the rivers filling and drying due to the changing climate on Titan. Another theory posits that these rivers draw methane from underground springs, which may have ceased to function for various reasons. As the Cassini probe continued its missions, flying by Titan a staggering 127 times, we gleaned more insights into its atmosphere. At an altitude of over 300 miles, complex organic compounds form under the influence of sunlight, setting in motion a cascade of reactions that leads to the creation of new layers in Titan's atmosphere. The discovery of these complex organic molecules has led scientists to speculate about the possibility of life on Titan. While the conditions on Titan are harsh and very different from those on Earth, these organic molecules are considered to be the building blocks of life. Moreover, Titan's thick atmosphere and geological activity suggest that it might have an internal ocean of water and ammonia. This internal ocean could be another potential habitat for life. The upcoming Dragonfly mission by NASA is set to explore Titan's diverse environments using a drone-like rotorcraft furthering our understanding of this intriguing moon and its potential for life. The Dragonfly mission, scheduled to launch in June 2027, will perform controlled flights and vertical takeoffs and landings between locations, allowing sampling of diverse regions and geological contexts. If successful, Dragonfly will become the second rotorcraft to fly on a celestial body other than Earth following the success of Ingenuity on Mars. Titan's unique characteristics, including its carbon-rich chemistry and internal ocean, make it a high-priority target for astrobiology and origin of life studies. The Dragonfly mission is part of NASA's New Frontiers program, which includes a series of principal investigator-led planetary science investigations with a total cost projection of approximately 1 billion US dollars, including launch services. Titan's climate, while changing rapidly compared to Earth, has its own share of intriguing phenomena. A recent highlight was the observation of a massive tropical methane storm around the equator of this moon. The storm's unique appearance earned it the moniker the Arrow and sprawled across an area of 518,000 square kilometers, or 200,000 square miles. The methane raindrops from the storm were the size of pears, falling so gently that one could easily evade them. Despite its harsh conditions, Titan's weather patterns and climate dynamics offer a world of scientific fascination. Let's delve into the composition of Titan's atmosphere. While predominantly nitrogen, it also boasts 3.5% methane. However, the real intrigue lies in the abundance of hydrogen. The surface level has less hydrogen than expected, whereas the upper atmosphere boasts twice as much. This distribution has led scientists to consider the possibility of biological processes that might be using hydrogen, creating a shortage near the surface. But this mystery is far from solved. Now let's take a closer look at Titan's surface. One glance at the radar-generated topographic map, and you might be reminded of Earth. Surprisingly, Titan's surface has fewer meteorite impact craters than you'd expect, thanks to its thick atmosphere that burns up smaller projectiles. However, the scarcity of craters complicates age determinations, making it challenging to gauge Titan's geological activity. And the surface? It's remarkably smooth, with regions that resemble Earth's deserts. The dark spots initially piqued scientists' interest, who speculated that they might be methane oceans. However, the truth turned out to be quite different. These dark spots are not oceans, but deserts, formed by the same climatic processes as Earth's deserts. Titan's unique climate, with its seasons and wind patterns, has given rise to an intriguing dune system composed of tholin, soot, and organic substances. These dunes, 
although originating from organic material, are not so different from the sand dunes on Earth. As we scoured Titan's surface for liquid, we stumbled upon Ontario, the only remaining lake at its south pole. The discovery of Ontario Lacus, the lake near the south pole of Saturn's moon Titan, was a significant milestone in our exploration of the solar system. This lake, composed of methane, ethane and propane, was confirmed by observations from the Cassini spacecraft. Ontario Lacus has a surface area of about 15,000 square kilometers, slightly larger than its terrestrial namesake, Lake Ontario in North America. However, by terrestrial standards, the lake appears to be extremely shallow, with an average depth of 0.4 to 3.2 meters and a maximum depth of 2.9 to 7.4 meters. Nearby, many dried up lakes have left scientists pondering what might be at their bottoms. Things get even more fascinating at Titan's North Pole, where entire seas and rivers were discovered. Kraken Mare and Ligeia Mare, while unique in the solar system, presented a fundamental question. Could Titan sustain life? Interestingly, in April 2012, it was announced that Ontario Lacus may be more like a mudflat or salt pan. Infrared observations show that the southwest shoreline of the lake receded 9 to 11 kilometers over four years, 2005 to 2009, evidently due to evaporation during the dry southern hemisphere autumn. The discovery of Ontario Lacus has provided invaluable insights into the conditions on Titan and the potential for extraterrestrial bodies of liquid in our solar system. Titan offers two perspectives on the possibility of life. One viewpoint parallels the conditions we know on Earth, focusing on the presence of cryovolcanoes where warm water bursts through the icy crust. This warm ocean of water, trapped between layers of ice above and below, fosters an environment akin to our planet's primordial soup. The key difference is Titan's greater distance from the sun and significantly colder temperatures. But this opens up tantalizing possibilities for understanding how life originated on Earth. The second perspective challenges our preconceptions. On Titan, life may exist in the form of methanogenic bacteria that feed on hydrogen and acetylene, producing methane as a byproduct. This could explain the abundance of methane in Titan's atmosphere, which should have dissipated long ago. The presence of unusual organic compounds on Titan further fuels speculation about its potential for life. The surface and subsurface of Titan offer intriguing possibilities for life. Synthesized azotosomes, organic compounds capable of forming protective cell membranes, could facilitate life in a methane-rich environment. Observations from ALMA telescopes in the Mexican desert reveal the presence of substances that can be used to create these protective membranes in quantities that could potentially host vast numbers of organisms. Titan, despite its harsh conditions, continues to challenge our understanding of where life can thrive. Titan, Saturn's enigmatic moon, is a celestial body that defies expectations. Its unique atmosphere, captivating landscapes, and the possibility of life make it an object of fascination for scientists and enthusiasts alike. While we've unraveled some of its mysteries, Titan continues to keep us guessing. If you've enjoyed this journey into the depths of Titan's mysteries, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Science with Lou for more captivating explorations of the universe. And remember, the cosmos is vast and full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Until next time, keep looking to the stars and stay curious.